elements of pop-ups is way more than just pop-ups. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a mobile quick links navigation with dynamic links that can add great value to your mobile website. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Hello, I'm your host, Kay Sino. I'm a digital alchemist. And today I'm going to show you how to create a mobile quick links navigation with the help of Elementor pop-ups. Now we could also achieve that by simply creating an Elementor Pro footer, but I wanna show you how to achieve that with Elementor pop-ups because there might be some cases when you need some of the options that come with Elementor pop-ups, such as giving the user the ability to close the quick navigation bar. So enough talking, let's dive in. Okay, let's have a quick look at what we're going to build. So if we look at the first icon, when you click on it, it's supposed to launch the phone app when you're on your phone. Now, here we're using the Chrome Inspector tool, so it just asks you to open FaceTime. So I'm going to cancel. The second button, if I click on it, it will open the WhatsApp application, which I don't have on the computer, but you get the idea. It would, um, it would launch the WhatsApp app on your phone. The third icon, um, the envelope, when I click on it, it opens a form. Actually, it's another pop-up. So technically it's a pop-up within a pop-up, but we'll talk about that later. And the fourth one, the fourth one is Waze. So if you click on it, it should start the Waze application uh, when you're on your phone. So now that we know what we're going to build, let's get to work. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we start creating the quick navigation bar is to create our contact form pop-up. And you'll understand why later. So first of all, go to templates, pop-ups. Now click on add new, and we're going to call it pop-up contact form. Then click on create templates. Okay, and now we can select one of the, the templates that we want to use. So let me find one that could work out and I'm going to use the same one I showed you earlier. So just click on insert and then we're going to, going to have to tweak it a little bit. So because this is strictly for the mobile, I'm going to switch to mobile view and then I want to change some of the settings here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the setting settings gear icon so that I can change the pop-up settings. And I'm just going to make sure that the height is 100 VH. Okay. And same thing for the width. Okay. Next, I'm going to select my section. As you can see here, I have the navigator open. It's way easier so i'm just going to click on the section and now i'm going to make sure that the minimum height is also 100 vh for the section so that it takes the whole space uh, above and below okay so that looks good then i'm just going to um tweak it a little bit so let me select the column then i go to style and i'm going to select an image and I'm going to use that image here, okay? And just for styling's sake, I'm just going to uh, give it an overlay. That looks a bit more like uh, what I want to do. And I'm gonna change the opacity a little bit. And then the finishing touch in the form. So I click on the edit icon. Then I'm going to change the button, the button, and for that I go to the style tab, button, and I'm going, to, I'm going to change the color to match the image above. Okay, and actually there's one more thing I want to do. So for that I need to go back to the uh, pop-up settings. So once again I've clicked on the settings gear icon in the bottom uh, left corner. Then I click on the style tab and I'm going to style the close button. So I want to make it easier for the users to uh, close the form if they want to. Okay, so that looks much better. Once I'm happy with it, I just have to publish. So the conditions are going to be included on the entire side because this will be triggered from the quick nav bar. So I'm not going to add any triggers or any advanced rules for the moment. 
So I'm just going to save and close. Okay, perfect. Now we can move on to the next step. So back in WordPress admin, go to templates, pop-ups. And just like previously, we were going to click on add new and we're going to call it pop-up quick mobile nav bar Then click on create template. Okay. And now we're in, we're going to create one from scratch actually. So I'm just going to close that. And the first thing we want to do is switch to mobile view because this is going to be strictly for the mobile. And I'm going to click on the plus icon because I'm going to create a structure myself. So I'm going to choose a four columns layout. And next, as you can see for the moment, the columns are stacked. So what I'm going to do is select each column and give it a 25% width. So actually I could have just copied and pasted the style I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to right click, copy. Then if I right click on the last column, I click on paste style. And as you can see, the style was pasted. So next we need to address the fact that for the moment, the pop-up is sitting right in the mid middle of our screen. So in the bottom left corner, click on the settings icon, and these are the pop-up settings. And we're going to make sure that it stays at the bottom of our screen. So that's perfect. And then let's look at the other options. So we don't want no overlay and you may or may not want to have the, the close but button. In the demo, I showed you there was a close button, but most of the times you wouldn't really use it. So I'm just going to remove it for a moment. And the entrance animation, I think that a, a sliding up is quite nice. So at least people um, uh, notice that there, there's a quick nav bar in the mobile view. Okay, general settings. It's fine. Okay, so we're, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Let me check the advanced step. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So first of all, we want to uh, prevent closing on overlay and we want to prevent closing on the escape key. Even though technically on the mobile, you'd, you'd have a hard time using the escape key, but you could do so with a virtual keyboard. Okay, so now let's go back to editing. Um, the, um, the content itself. So once again, I have the navigator open here. And if you don't know how to use the navigator, just click on the navigator icon in the bottom left corner of the, um, the Elementor window. Okay, so now I'm just going to select the section that I previously created. And now I can start styling it. So I have two options here. In the demo, there was a, a background color. So either I can use a, a global background color on the whole of the pop-up, or I can use individual colors. You can do both really. But because I'm going to show you a little, little trick later on in this tutorial, I'm going to style the, the columns instead of the whole uh, pop-up. So First of, all, first of all, I'm going to click on the column, then hit the style tab, and I'm going to choose a classic background type. And now I'm going to select a color that I want to use. Okay, so I'll use that one. And you can't see anything right now because there's no content and we're going to change that right now. So let me go to the widgets and I'm going to use an icon. And as you can see now, uh, the, the color, the background color is revealed. So first of all, let me change um, the icon. So I want a phone, so I'm just going to type phone and I have a few options here. So I'm going to use the smartphone, okay. Next, I want to style that icon, icon a little bit. So go to the style tab. I'm going to change the primary color to white and then I'm going to play with the size. So 30, 35 seems about right. But now I think that the white color is a bit too much. So I'm going to give it some, op some opacity. Okay. So that looks better to me. 
Okay, so now that I have that, I'm just going to show you um, how to create a dynamic link and then I'm just going to copy and paste so we can work a little bit faster. So let's go back to the content tab. And what I want to do is I want to add a dynamic link. So click on dynamic, then select uh, contact URL within the actions. And once you've done that, click on the wrench icon. And now in the drop down, you can select which type of dynamic um, link and action you want to select. So here I'm just going to select telephone and let's use a fake phone number. Okay, so now technically when you click on that icon and you're on the phone, you should call that number. Okay, so that's good. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually, and I could have done that from the beginning, but I wanted to show you how to create a structure. So I'm just going to right click and delete all the columns that I've created. And I'm just going to duplicate. I can either right click and click duplicate or I can use Command and D on a Mac and I guess Control and D on a computer. OK, so now I'm just going to start editing the other columns. So let me change actually the icon. So the second icon we want is WhatsApp. That's perfect. And now I want to change the dynamic action. So click on the wrench icon and select WhatsApp. And let's pretend it's the same number, which would be the case if you use using a smartphone line and a WhatsApp application. Okay, now let's move to the uh, third icon. So here I'm going to use an envelope. And it's a bit too big. So I'm just going to change the size. And for that, I go to the Style tab. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. But now the issue we have is that it's not really centered vertically. So for that, click on the um, column settings. And content position should be in the middle. Okay, and actually we want that on all uh, the other column. So once again, I can just copy and then I can right click and paste style, paste style and paste style on the last column. Okay. So now we want to add the functionality to open a, a contact form when we click on the envelope icon. So click on edit, click on dynamic, and now we're going to select a pop-up, which is the pop-up we created in the previous step. So once you've selected pop-up, click on the wrench icon and we're going to search for a pop-up and it was something like contact form. So, yep, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so now once we go uh, on the front end, it should launch the uh, contact form that we've created. And for the last one, we're going to use ways but if we type ways here in elementor there's no icon yet um, so what we're going to do is to actually remove the icon and now let's go back to the widgets and we're going to use just a basic image okay i've already added an image in the library so here i have the ways icon so i'm just going to insert it and as you can see, it's way too big. So the first thing I want to do is to change the size because I want to optimize for the weight of the page. So I'm going to select medium large, but I could even go medium. But I'm thinking about retina screen. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with medium large. Okay. And then I want to style it. So hit the style tab and I'm going to change the width to match the other icons. So that seems about right. Okay. And then I want to change the opacity because once again, I want, I want to match the styling of the other icons. So that seems okay. Okay. So let's go back to the content tab. And now in the link, we want to select custom URL. And once again, we'll click on dynamic. 
actions and contact URL. Next click on the wrench icon and we're going to select ways here and then you can start typing the address okay so now it seems about ready so let's publish so first we want to add uh, a condition that includes the pop-up on the entire site and next we want to add an on page load trigger so let's say after one second now if we stop here it would mean that the um, the quick nav bar pop-up would load on each and every page of your website after one second. You may not want to do that, especially because Google can penalize websites that use pop-ups everywhere on mobile. Now, there are specific rules about Google and mobile pop-ups, but this is really beyond the scope of this video. Now, if SEO is important for you, you should really uh, deep dive into it to make sure that this is not going to penalize your website. But in some occasions, like for example, if you use a, a website for an event or for the launch of a product, you may not really care about SEO that much. So once again, do your research for your specific case. But for the scope of this video, we're just going to move on with the rest of the tutorial. So click next. And now with the, in the advanced rules, we want to activate the show on device and remove that pop up for tablet and desktop because once again for the sake of this tutorial we just want to use that on mobile so once you're happy with it just click on save and close and uh, now we're going to go to the front end to see if it all works so back on the front end let's refresh the page and as you can see we have all our icons so let's check so the first one's working fine uh, the second one, yep, it goes to the WhatsApp um, web version. Now let's go back. And the third one works as well. We have our form that we created. And the fourth one should go to the Waze landing page. Okay, that works fine. And if you were on a mobile and you had the Waze app, it would open Waze with the address that we entered in the previous step. So that's how you create a quick uh, nav bar for the mobile. So let me go back to the page. It's, it can be really handy. Um, I don't think I would use it on each and every page of the website, but for example, it could be just on the contact page. When uh, users are on a mobile and they reach the contact page, then you could have those quick links that would really help. Um, I can tell you how many times I have to go see a client and I'm looking for their address and then I have to copy and paste the address and uh, sometimes there's a typo so I need to retype it in ways and when you're in a hurry those kind of details really make a difference so if I could just click on the ways icon and you know ways would start and it's another five minutes that I saved and at the end of the day if, if I save a bunch of five minutes here and there you know it can uh, sum up to one hour, a couple of hours, or even more. So that's the kind of little detail that personally I appreciate. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, there's a little trick that I want to show you. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. So we're back in Elementor. Now, just imagine that instead of four icons, you just want the phone icon to be available everywhere, but in a slightly different way. So first of all, let's remove the icons. Okay, and now we're going to style just the, the image. So I'm going to remove the color from the section. So I'm just going to click on clear. Now you can't see anything, but it's still there. So click on the phone icon and on the content tab in the view options, select stacked. Okay, and now on the style tab, we can select a secondary color. So actually I'm going to keep it white and for the primary color, I'm going to choose this color right here. Give it a full opacity. And then I'm gonna start styling the padding. 
okay that looks about right and actually i can also give it an entrance animation so let's so if you didn't follow i just went to the advanced tab and i'm going to select an entrance animation no i don't like that one that could do it okay so let's click on update and now let's go back to the front end so back on the front end let's refresh the page okay as you can see now we have our icon but i want to get rid of that white background so let's go back to elementor okay so the first thing i want to do is click on the pop-up settings still in the bottom left corner then go to the style tab background type and i really want to make sure that it's transparent because at first it seemed like it, it seemed like there was nothing but actually that's the way it works you just really need to make sure it's fully transparent at the um, pop-up settings level and then as you can see there's also a box shadow and let's go right here so on the style tab you can see the box shadow we're just going to reset it back to default so click on back to default and now it should be okay so let's update and let's go back on the front end and refresh our page so now it looks nice we can scroll and at any moment we can click on the phone icon and if we were on the phone it would trigger the phone app so that was just a little trick if you just want to have that icon uh, all the time or on a specific page also as i mentioned earlier so now you know how to create both a mobile nav bar and just that little variation with just one icon now if you're interested in purchasing elementor pro you'll find a link in the description of this video now to be crystal clear this is an affiliate link which means that i do get a commission if you purchase a license after clicking on my link but one i only recommend elementor pro because i love the product and two commissions help me support this channel and create free content so i hope that this video showed you the power of elemental pop-ups and that you will create a beautiful user interface with smart and handy dynamic links with the help of elemental pop-ups now if there are other elemental pop-ups tutorials that you'd like me to cover let me know in the comments and by the way you find the companion blog post on my website casino.com and of course the direct link is in the description of this episode now if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up as it really helps growing this channel and if you know anyone that could benefit from it please share it now if you're not yet a subscriber don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything now, if you want to brand, market, and grow your business in the digital age, then make sure you subscribe to my email newsletter so that you never miss a share of digital alchemy, as well as tips, tools, services, and case studies that can help you grow your business online. So that's it for this episode. I hope to see you around. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.